Hello guys, I'm Raki. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to explain about the Bootstrap 5 grade system, how to use on all of XD. And let's start today's tutorial. The Bootstrap 5 have upgraded the 8 point grid in Bootstrap 5 version. And previously, the Bootstrap used to have a 16 px of a column gutter width in between the columns. So here, the 8 point grid is used to give the dimensions and also the paddings, margins, borders for a particular elements or in between the columns. So whatever the spaces we see generally in the websites or the dashboards or in the blocks, this depends on the 8 point grid. Let's explore how we can implement a Bootstrap 5 12 column grid on Adobe XD. Here I have uh, created uh, a layout artboard sizes and also grid width and also uh, provided the grid column gutter width in between the columns uh, following with the column width and also offset margins on the right and left of the grid width. You see on the left side I have listed out a few of the artboard sizes we generally use to design our uh, websites and uh, blocks and dashboards. The 1920 is the last screen, uh, 1440 is a medium screen. And 1366 and 1200 is a regular screen, and 1025 and 768 used for iPads. So, uh, in the second column, I have uh, given a particular uh, fixed container width which was taken from the Bootstrap 5 1320 and 1320 for the last screens, and 1440 and 1440 for regular screens, and 960 for 1024 and 768 uh, for 720. So if you see uh, all the gutter width in between the columns is 24. Generally in the Bootstrap uh, 4 uh, we used to see 8 px in between the columns considering it has a 16 px in between the columns because on the right and left uh, we used to have 8 and 8 thus calculates into 16 px okay whereas in the Bootstrap they are appearing into 12 on the left side and the 12 on the right side that calculates as a 24 in between the columns. So that is known as the gutter width in between the columns. So from starting from the large screen to small screen, the Bootstrap 5 includes the 24 gutter width in between the columns. So each and every dashboard, uh, each and every artboard of the grid has a different column uh, column values like on the last screen we used to see 88 px and the medium screen has 88 px whereas when you get into a uh, regular laptops or a smaller laptops you generally see a uh, different values like 73 77 58 and 38 and again uh, we used to have the outside margins like what we generally call a white space on the right and left of any fixed container so that's so this value can be obtained by subtracting the grid width from the artboard. Let's take an example like in 1920 if you are going to subtract the 1320 px then you will going to have a 600 px of white space that's divided by 2 300 px on the left and the 300 px on the right side. Let's look into an example so this is a 1920 to 1080 I have created for it. So if you click on this black box, what we generally call a grid uh, container grid width is 1320. So when you subtract from 1920, from 1920 minus 1320, you will get uh, around a 600 of white space. If you see here the 300 is 300 on the left and the 300 on the right. That calculates as a 600. I will show you how the 300 looks like. Let us take a rectangle. So if you see on the width value it is showing 300 on the right side. Let us move this rectangle to the left side. Let us add some color so that it is visible. Huh. You see on the left side it is showing 300 and also on the right side it is showing 300. And in between the columns, so this is known as a gutter width. So if you click on the artboard on the right side bottom you will find the gutter width in 24. Let us click on this rectangle you can see the 24 in between the columns right. Let us drag this rectangle onto the column and let us check the how the column width looks like. Again click on the artboard. The right side you will find the column width. The column width is showing is 88. 
let's click on the rectangle let's check the value of the rectangle it's 88 so there is we call as a columns so generally we used to have 12 columns in between we used to have 11 gutter widths okay and uh, this is the offset values like 300 and 300 on the left and 300 on the right that will you obtain while you are subtracting your grid uh, grid width from the artboard then you used to have this margins on the right and left so in this tutorial i have created uh, for all medium screens and also the regular laptops you can use this uh, grid i'll provide you the link in the description so till uh, android mobile that is 1316 to 768 i have uh, given all the uh, grid and uh, at the bottom i have created a 12 column grid for the container fluid in the bootstrap we used to have a fixed container width and also the fluid container width which allow used to make the 100 percent width in the container uh, fluid so again I have uh, given uh, different uh, grid widths by obtaining uh, of, uh, from the uh, container fluid so this is for 1920 let's click on the one of the artboard of 1920 on the right side if you see the gutter width is 24 and also your margins on the right and left is 24 because on the fluid layout we used to have a 16 px on the right and left in the smaller uh, devices for the regular devices where when we are designing for the larger screens we generally use a, 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 a 24 or a 32 of the margin on the right and left so that's how the bootstrap have uh, given a freedom to use a 24 px in between the columns and also on the outer margins offset so that's how i created a container fluid uh, grid system uh, for all the uh, uh, regular and the uh, larger uh, desktops so if you found this uh, useful for your next project you can download and use it uh, from the uh, description i hope you like this video and uh, subscribe and also comment on this video so that i can able to understand so uh, what exact uh, problem you are facing while creating the uh, uh, 12 column grid you from the bootstrap 5 so once i want to show like if you go into 1366 i generally uh, face when we are using 3066 into 768 we are unable to obtain like, like 24 uh, column uh, gutter width in between the columns because the 1366 into 768 dimensions gives you decimal values but decimal values won't allow on um, xd so if you are using a sketch or a figma uh, that is more uh, flexible that gives you a exact value for 1366 so if you want to have a bootstrap 5 uh, uh, 12 column grid uh, following with the 12 uh, 24 px of gutter space in between the columns then 1368 artboard is suitable for your uh, next design if you are going to use a bootstrap 5 uh, 12 column fluid grid and again if you want to use 1366 only instead of 1368 then you can go with it but if you see on the right side you have to use uh, outside margins 15 and 15 on the left and the 15 on the right that gives you uh, 30 and in between the columns uh, the gutter width will be a 32 and again if you want to use uh, 1360 by having uh, uh, like 16 gutter width and also 16 on the right and left you can use 1360 as well we generally use 1360 uh, to have this uh, multiples of 8 so that makes uh, the space and also dimensions and uh, margins paddings borders uh, more consistent uh, in all creating the columns and also in between the paragraphs so that's how this uh, 12 column grid useful to create more flexible layouts for website and dashboards if you like this video please do comment and uh, subscribe to my youtube